um, go to the Stadium of Light and uh, hopefully we can speak to the, the town uh, standing boss, Aaron Wilbraham. Aaron, uh, what did you make of, of that game? Are you, are you slightly disappointed not to have come away with at least a point from that one? Yeah, definitely. I think we definitely deserve something out of the game and obviously... Uh, Sunderland started bright, we knew they would. I think we matched them for effort, but at times when we were getting on the ball, maybe didn't settle down like we usually do. But I think for the last 15 minutes of the first half and the whole of the second half, we were pretty much camped in their half and we had a few decent chances. If one of them goes in, it's a totally different game. And I think we were always in the game. And I think if you spoke to the Sunderland coach and staff, they've said it at the end of the game themselves, they were, they were lucky to get away with all three points. Definitely, we deserve something just thinking about the few weeks you've had and, and a long journey in midweek another long journey today mentally as much as anything how much has it taken out of the players and, and how good was it to get back to a league game today yeah I think obviously the break was difficult we've spoke about that but we put that behind us we had the game in our legs from Southampton to prepare for this game and obviously Sunderland also played Tuesday night so no excuses on that front but I think just from the, the hunger side of it, the way the lads were, second half, I was, I was really proud. We never stopped going and we, we were the only team who looked like scoring and obviously a few chances we could have got in, but some, sometimes it's not your day and we have to go again. Obviously, you've lost a couple of wing-backs over the last week or so, haven't you? Donald Love back in today, Roshan Williams played in that position. What did you make of, um, of the performances and what was your decision-making in going with the two of them? Yeah, I think uh, obviously Don, I thought Donald Love was excellent, to be honest. He, he never stopped running. We didn't expect him to last as long as he did. We didn't even want to take him off when we did. It was just a change of shape that brought Donald off. But no, I thought he was unbelievable. And Rose Sean's obviously adapting to the role that we're playing him in. And I thought both of them, the wing backs are really important in this formation. And they do a lot of running for the team. And I thought both of them did really well. And uh, yeah, obviously, like you say, lost a couple of wing backs. It's a different a couple of faces and then positions for us, which we've not had. So the team are adapting to that, but I thought they did really well. Number 10 has been a, that number 10 role has been a position where you've used quite a few um, players over the, the past few weeks. Um, you've obviously, you brought in Harry Chapman. He almost scored goal of the season in, in the first half. How have you um, felt about, about him settling in and, and what he's been able to bring to the team? Yeah, obviously it's been difficult. He came to the club and then straight away the COVID situation and then 14 days away from the training ground. Manager who signed him, not about, but I think he's settled in really well. He showed glimpses on Tuesday night of what he can do and obviously he's not played a lot of football, so I think he's going to get stronger each game. And like you say, he's a great number 10 and he was unlucky with the effort that he had first off. When you, when you look at the next few days, and obviously you know, you've got another game under your belt, which is a positive, but I suppose you've got to, you've got to manage recovery and, and factor in the fact that I suppose one or two are still catching up from, from the enforced break that you've had. You've got a, a long trip home today. What do you do over the next few days to, to get ready for, for Burton? Yeah, re recover like you said, and uh, obviously we get the chance to start a new run of games now. Uh, the unbeaten run in the league comes to an end, but we go again and start a new run. That's what we do. Uh, we take the positives to the second half uh, from today and we take that into Tuesday's game. I told the lads, no one feeling sorry for himself, no heads down because he can take a lot from that second half knowing we played a good team off the park. Do you think it's going to be a busy week in, in the transfer market? And how is that going to work with, with the, the manager not sort of at the club day to day? Are you communicating with him? Have, have you sort of taken up the mantle? Are you having to deal with all of the phone calls and the agents and all the rest of it? I think that the manager's still in contact with the uh, head of recruitment and they're doing a lot of that. So that's still ongoing like it usually would be. So it's enabled me and Dave Longwell to get on with the training side of things. So that's that's as it is and we'll, we'll see what happens this week. Is wing back an area you're looking at if, if there was going to be one to, to add given the players you've lost? Yeah, I think obviously we've, we've not got a left side player. We'll be looking obviously for a lefty down that side and uh, I think that's definitely in the pipeline. I think I can say that, but uh, we'll have to see what happens this week. It looked like a difficult pitch today, uh, without you know wanting to, 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 to make any excuses. Was that a, a difficult part of the game today? Yeah, the, the, we, we noticed on the uh, clips that we've watched this week that the pitch wasn't in good condition, but you're going to get that this stage of the season. Uh, it's the same for both teams, and we have to do what we can with the surface that's provided on the day. And uh, 
yeah, I don't think it came into play too much and I think the lad dealt with it well and still tried to pass a lot better second half than the first half. I just, I just wonder finally, Aaron, uh, before you go, whether you've learned a lot about the group that you've got over the past week or so and even in the game today, I think it's absolutely fair to say that you didn't stop today. It was, it was a, a, a performance full of, of character and, and the way the players seem to have responded to a, a difficult situation must have taught you a lot and pleased you. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I, I, I've told them that, to not feel like they've let me down at all that second half. And even the last 15, 20 of the first half, and not that they did early on in the game, I just thought we took a while to settle, a uh, while to just be, relax on the ball and pass it. Because when we pass it, we open teams up. And I, I said to them, they've not let me down at all. That, Like you say, the response to the manager not being around, to me and Dave, has been excellent. And everyone's bought into everything we've done and everyone's been well on board. So there's no problems there whatsoever. And uh, yeah, like you say, I've, what I've learned in the last week is that we've got a very honest together group who want to do well as a team. Aaron, appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you. a lot and commiserations today. Thank you, cheers.